Durante a minha trajetória, eu experimentei com a produção de imagens estáticas em movimento, na construção de narrativas sutis de cunho pessoal. Utilizo a água por ser um elemento natural de descontrole, além de representar uma metáfora para a memória, tempo e transformações. A minha prática artística é um intenso mergulho interior, guiada pela constante busca do inalcançável autoconhecimento mutável. In the course of this process, I understood that my practice happened by sensation and reaction to what surrounds me. I have come to recognize uncertainty as one of my greatest ally. It allows me to experiment freely with the flexibility of action, allowing me to enjoy myself in the process. In my research paper, I researched the processes and artistic practice of the Brazilian duo Mirella Branch, She's Muepi Etchum. My greatest interest in the work was in the use of the elements light and sound in live artistic performances. However, in the course of my research, my curiosity evolved beyond the elements and entered into the creative process, which through the experimentation of the elements constructed a new language, proposing to the viewer the construction of personal narratives. In this sense, I related the work of the duo with the tradition of expanded cinema. Jean Youngblood puts as a feature of expanded cinema the search for an expanded consciousness. This research has brought me an even greater focus on personal narratives and how artists have the power to build, induce and tell stories. And I began to realize that my process is related to the creation of personal rituals. Those are small actions, often repetitive, that help me in the process of personal connection, the acceptance of being an artist and self-knowledge. With this vision, I reframed the practice of blind self-portrait, which I previously thought it was only part of my personal process, without any artistic value. I returned to this practice, bringing color and letting the image to be blurred by the water. Thus, they became fluid blind self-portraits, which together are the record of this process of construction and desconstruction. One step beyond this work is the full-body blind self-portraits, which made me look at myself as a whole, with every mark, every curve, every thought and every judgment, in an attempt to construct a real mental image of myself. One static image that is marked by the movement in transformation. In relation to my work with personal rituals comes a great question, how to bring the spectator, how to invite them to participate and to enter this universe of contemplation and transformation. I remember a few research and experiments with virtual reality and put them into practice, which consisted of an immersible 360 video, which works as an invitation to the spectator to go through those rituals, thus building their own narratives. Recording processes is something that has always interested me. I began to use Instagram as a platform for sharing those processes and experiments. In the construction of a personal narrative, I seek to build a visual diary that, even without words, tells my story and my interests as an artist. I do not know why I'm having such hard time talking about my process right now. Perhaps it's something unconscious, a failed attempt to move against time. But I know that in spite of seeming to be the end, this is in fact only the beginning.